Platy fish are peaceful, hardy, freshwater fish that are ideal for community aquariums. These mesmerizing fish have a bright coloration. There are many breeds and hybrids within the platy fish species that come in as many colors as the rainbow. Platy fish belong to the Ziphiferous genus and, along with mollies, guppies, and swordfish, are members of the Pisiliidae family. Ziphiferous comes from the Greek word, Xiphos, which means sword, and Phiron, which means carry. Platy fish is a common name that refers to three species, Southern Platy, Variable Platy, Swordtail Platy. Platys are very common among aquarium hobbyists and have been interbred to mix colors and fin shape. The Southern Platy and the Variable Platy are the most common species and have been interbred so much that it's difficult to distinguish between the different species. The Swordtail Platy still remains a rare specimen. This species is also called the spike tail platy, due to the shape of its fins. All platys are hardy fish but have relatively short lifespans. They live for about 3 years to 5 years if really well cared for. You will easily find the southern and variable platy for sale. The sword tail, however, is very difficult to come by. Platy fish are small, peaceful fish. Even though they are not considered shoaling or schooling fish, they are much happier when kept in small groups. They are very active and love breeding. Platys spend most of their time swimming in small groups in the middle of the water column among the plants and hiding between the floating leaves. They are not usually aggressive, but you might find that the males overwhelm the females if you don't keep the right ratios. Platy fish can jump. Remember to always keep the tank covered as they can jump out of the tank. Generally, platys are hardy fish and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. Try to have regular water changes with 25% changed every two weeks. Your platy fish will be more at ease in an aquarium that mimics their natural habitats with a heavily planted tank and gravel substrate. Plants can be arranged differently depending on which species you keep. Whilst the southern prefers a loosely arranged aquarium, the variable favors a densely planted tank with open spaces for swimming. Hornwort, java moss, and duckweed are all good plants that you can use. Water temperature slightly changes depending on the variety that you have. The common and swordtail platys prefer 70 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, while variable platys prefer 72 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Their colors will show better if you keep the temperature in the cooler range. They all prefer weak currents with a water pH of 6.8 to 8 and water hardness of 10 to 28 dgh. As small active fish, platy fish need a tank size of at least 10 gallons. Platy fish make ideal tank mates as they are very peaceful. Don't forget though that they can be very active. They enjoy swimming around in groups with males occasionally fighting amongst themselves. Small peaceful fish are the perfect tank companions, especially with species that are loosely related such as mollies, guppies, and sword tails. They also get along well with other similar size and temperament fish such as Corydoras, Tetras, Kerasins, Goramas, small peaceful barbs, and obviously other platy fish. They can be kept with shrimps and snails if you would like some non-fish companions. Platys will struggle with large aggressive fish such as cichlids and arowanas. Tiger barbs, bettas, vampire tetras, and wolffish are all examples of fish to avoid when choosing tank companions. Platy fish are not considered shoaling fish, however, they are happier when kept in a small group. Once they settle in your aquarium, it won't be long before your aquarium population increases. Always keep more females than males. This prevents the females from becoming exhausted from being chased. We recommend keeping two or three females for every male. Platy fish are not fussy eaters as long as you provide them with a diet that is high in vegetables. In their natural habitat, they eat small crustaceans, worms, insects, and plants. They are considered omnivorous fish but prefer a herbivorous diet. They will eat most food, including live, commercially prepared, and vegetable food. Choose a good quality flake food to form the core of their diet. You can treat them once or twice a week by feeding them brine shrimp, tubifex, or bloodworms. Proteins are good as long as there are always plenty of veggies. Boiled vegetables such as squash, spinach, cucumber, and vegetable supplements such as spirulina are a good starting point. Keep in mind that a diet that is rich in vitamins will produce the best coloration. Try to feed your platy small amounts of food several times per day. 
only feed them an amount that they can finish within 3 minutes. Platys are small, hardy fish that are not prone to any disease in particular. However, they can fall victim to common tropical fish issues such as ick and fin rot. Fish diseases are not always easy to spot. You will probably notice different behaviors or irregularities on their skin and bodies. Depending on when you notice these symptoms, the disease will be more or less difficult to treat. Ick disease is one of the most commonly encountered diseases in the aquarium hobby. Ick is a parasite that causes white spots on the body, gills, and fins. If not cured, this can cause severe infections and respiratory damage to the fish. There are many treatments, from raising water temperatures to using medication. Fin rot is another common disease given by bacterial infection of the tails or fin. Antibiotics are usually the best option such as chloromycetin or tetracycline. You can add these while feeding your fish. The best thing you can do is try to proactively prevent diseases by maintaining good water quality and a balanced healthy diet. Reducing the level of stress is essential for your fish and you can do this by giving them the best possible environment. Stressed fish are more likely to get sick. A good way of preventing diseases is to properly clean and quarantine anything that you add to your aquarium. This includes fish, plants, new substrate, and any kind of decoration. Platy fish are also known as live-bearing fish. These fish are known to keep the eggs inside their bodies until they're ready to give birth to free swimming fry. These fish are prolific breeders. You will not have to do much in order for them to breed. It's quite difficult to determine opposite sexes until they reach maturity at about 4 months. At this point, sexual dimorphism is quite obvious. Sexual dimorphism is the difference in size and appearance between the sexes of the same species. Females are generally larger and plainer when they're fully grown. Male platys take a while to achieve their full coloration, and as they grow the anal fins take on a rod shape, which is known as their gonopodium. Platy fish are likely to eat their fry, therefore, we suggest using a breeding tank of about 10 to 20 gallons with filtration. If you're set on breeding in the community aquarium, make sure you provide enough hiding spaces with dense plants so that the fish can find shelter. Generally, females can have up to 80 fry. They are usually pregnant for around 24 to 30 days before giving birth to live young. They are born ready to swim and you can feed them egg yolk, dry food, and specific food for fry. You can easily spot a pregnant female as the abdomen becomes quite large and if the skin is transparent enough you might also be able to notice a couple of black eyes. Occasionally she will also develop a gravid spot. Platy fish are very colorful and peaceful fish. They are hardy and make the perfect addition to most aquariums. They are perfect for anyone who is new to the hobby. They are very easy to care for you just need to maintain good water conditions and feeding habits. Keep a densely planted aquarium and you will have happy fish. They will not get along well with bullies and fin nipping fish. Keep them in a peaceful community and you will be mesmerized by their coloration.